All right, guys, we're looking at doing a full system swap. I am currently down in the basement, just right at the bottom of the stairs here. Uh, if you go up and to the left, the front door is just right over here. So we'll need to bring tarps to cover everything up front. Uh, it's not a walkout basement, so cover all the wood floors. Um, and then you do have um, some rubber non-slick uh, stair treads there. Then the rest of this is all just concrete flooring. Uh, so the unit we're looking at, uh, this is all C-width, uh, C-width furnace, C-width coil. It's a standard 40-inch tall furnace. Uh, we've got about 8 inches between the furnace and the return drop, uh, which we're going to replace the return drop as well. It's at 10 by 25. Overall height, uh, I'll double check, I believe it's 81 inches. Uh, on the flue, pretty standard setup. It's 4-inch. Uh, I've got a 5-inch T over there. 3-inch coming from the water heater. We'll swap all that out. Gas lines here on the right. They're shut off. Uh, bypass humidifier. Um, this does have a piercing valve tied to it, which unfortunately is right down on here. Uh, we are going to do uh, the April Air 600M. So we'll need to get a new uh, feed line. And then drain for everything is going to the floor. Uh, line sets, oh, it's a short run outside. Uh, this is just sitting right on the ground over there. Um, these are sized properly. We'll just need to pressure test them. And then the sub panel has the air conditioner on it. It's a double 40 right here. Uh, we are also going to be doing uh, the air scrubber with ozone on the install. 